Hello everybody, this is a brief tutorial of my Pinnacle Game Profiler Oblivion Profile. Uh, this is my newest profile and I just wanted to make this video so that uh, people could get an overall understanding of how this thing works. Um, there has been some confusion on the forums and I just uh, thought this might be of some help. Anyway, uh, here we are. Um, I've got Oblivion up and running. Um, and uh, got my Xbox 360 controller. Now, basically, I mean, for most, uh, for the most part, it uh, works just like the 360 version of the game. Um, as you can see, um, I can look with my analog stick. I can move with my analog stick, the left analog stick. If I move just a little bit, he'll walk. If I press all the way, he'll run. So it uh, it works pretty well. I've got the look speed. Uh, if you keep your defaults in Pinnacle, the look speed should be identical to the 360 version of the game. I use the 360 version to uh, to map the speed. I use it as a reference. Anyway, um, your D-pad has got the quick quick keys assigned to them. Um, start brings up your your pause menu, which you can navigate with the stick. Um, X button, or I'm sorry, A button uh, to select. So I'll return. Um, the back button is your weight. You can select how many hours, um, and, and you can see we can go down to our other buttons. Now I don't have an auto scroll on here, so you have to. It's kind of a pain, I know, but you have to press it individually. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, just to make sure the profile works the way we want it to. Um, so I'm just going to cancel once again, A button. Oh, sorry. Push the wrong button. So, um,. Wait again, so it's day. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so, if I want to go up and talk to this guy, um, push the A button. As you can see, I can select. I'm just going to laugh in his face. So, as you can see, that's uh, that all works real well. Um, if I want to go and open a barrel or something, A button opens up the screen, I can navigate. Um, now, I've set up this profile so that the B button will not close this. Normally it would, but I put a delay on there to discourage it. You'd have to actually hold the B button down in order to cause it to close. I've done that because I want you to push the A button instead, which does the same thing. The reason I don't want you to push the B button is because it will get the profile out of sync. When I push the B button, which is assigned to the journal, uh, it opens a new configuration. And the configuration is not ideal 
for in the game world. So, like I said, just to discourage people from pushing that button and causing a synchronization issue, I've put a delay on it so people will not want to use it. Um, speaking of journal, um, push the B button. Obviously, if I press it, it's not going to open. i got to hold it down for a brief moment, and it pops up. Now, the journal is a, a, a lot... It's set up a lot better than my previous profile. Um, it works pretty much just like the 360 version now. I can select different tabs um, with the uh, analog stick, as you can see. But now I've got my triggers. If I press the triggers, it'll shift that bottom category selector, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, it's very much like the 360 version. Now I do have an auto scroll for up and down. So you just hold it and it'll scroll. Um, you can select things with the A button, as you can see. If I want to look at my character, I can use the mouse cursor It's moved around with the right analog stick. Um, I can go over to him and if I press and hold the analog stick button and hold it down, I can pan him, do all that stuff. You can also use that to select if you so, so chose by pressing it, but it's it's easier just to use the left analog stick and the A button. Um, for the map, once again, use the arrow, click and hold with the right analog stick, and you can pan your, your map around. If you want to um, leave a map marker, you can press the left bumper, shoulder button. Press it and release. You have the option to move it, leave it, move it, and there you go. Um, to close the journal, obviously, B button. Hold it down again to open it. Um, now I can grab and drop an item with the right shoulder button. As you can see, what you have to do is you have to use the mouse cursor to actually highlight which what you want to grab and drop. We'll just grab this iron mace. And if I hold down that left shoulder button for a period of time, it then closes the journal and swaps back to our default configuration, out of the journal configuration. And as you can see, there is uh, the mace, or axe, or whatever it is. Um, so then I release the left shoulder button, and it drops. Um, I can also walk up to it, and if I hold down that left shoulder button in the game world, I can then pick it up fling it around if I so wish. Pretty much just like uh, or very similar to the Xbox 360 version of the game. Um, you've got X button. The X button pulls out your weapon. Um, let's see it works. See here, I want to select a different weapon just for the sake of go Iron Warhammer close. So block is with the left trigger and 
and then you hit with your right trigger hold it down for a powerful hit so okay Clo you can push X to put it away uh, magic is the right shoulder button the as you can see you just press it and your selected magic the if you press down on the right analog stick it'll change to third person view if I click and hold I can then zoom in and out to select how far I want my camera just like so um, I can press down on the left analog stick to go into sneak mode just like so and jump is the Y button pretty self-explanatory So now a couple of little things. Like I was saying, the profile could get out of sync if I were to open up something and instead of pressing this button if I were to hold it down, the profile is now out of sync. Now there's not much change. I mean you could still use it for the most part and it works like it's supposed to. However, if you were to open your journal now, your journal would lose some of the features such as the drop and grab, um, it will autocorrect itself. Um, but just so you know, right now, normally this button wouldn't do anything if it were we were in sync in the game world. But uh, if I hold it down now, as you can see, it's it it does things it's not supposed to. So anyway, if you get out of sync, uh, I suggest you press the tab button, and that should correct it. If we're just playing with it a while, it tends to correct itself as well. Um, so what we're going to do is press the tab button, just like that, and we're back in sync. So anyway, um, just so you know that with items you select, you should close it with the A and you'll have no problems. Like I said, I've discouraged you from closing containers with the B button by putting a delay on it. Um, so it um, makes it a little bit more of a pain to open up the journal because you have to hold it down for half a second or so but um, yeah for the most part everything uh, works just like I want it to um, I hope you'll all give me feedback and let me know if there's any problems um, we had one user tell me that their save games weren't working right and it was wanting to delete I'll demonstrate what's going on um, if I go to start I select save. What I believe he's doing is he's using the mouse cursor, selecting the mouse cursor and then pressing the right trigger. That's going to want to cause it to delete. This is not the correct way to do this. Just select it with the left stick and then press A. Just like so. Um, so that uh, maybe that'll explain a little bit of what's going on there.